give me the first shot. Against the Wall, that's this month on HBO. Next month, April 22, this man, Michael Moore, challenges Evander Holyfield in Las Vegas for the WBA and IBF World Heavyweight Championship belts that Holyfield now holds. Michael, welcome to the telecast. Thanks. Have you already begun training for the fight? Yes, I have. I've been in training for about a week and five days, so I'm feeling pretty confident about this fight. You've had various changes of manager and trainer in the past. When we saw you last here against Mike Evans on HBO, you were being trained by Teddy Atlas. Does he stay in that position for the upcoming title fight? Yes, he does. A lot of people make a big deal about uh, uh, changing trainers, but I think it's all within a fighter. I'm too strong-minded to let it bother me or affect me. You're the mandatory challenger, but there are a lot of people who thought that Evander might try to get around that to go ahead and try to unify the heavyweight championship against Lennox Lewis. Are you surprised that he's giving you the opportunity now? I'm not surprised. I remember him uh, stating that he wants to fight the best, and I think that I, I am the best, and I think he knows that, but he wants to prove to himself. But uh, I think it's going to be a fatal mistake, actually. What are your advantages against the champion? I don't know if there's any advantages. I know myself, I'm younger, stronger, more determined. Well, uh, those people who say that Evander should be favored in the fight will, on the other hand, say that you have a puncher's chance. It's boxing language for saying that Moore is a guy with so much power that he might score a knockout against Evander, even if Evander is tactically better. Do you think that you have that kind of one-punch power against him? Oh, absolutely, but you, you have to take your head off to Evander. Evander is a true champion. And he's a strong-minded person. I think it's going to come down to being uh, within the minds, I think, because, you know, you can't get in the excellent shape of your life because anyone can be hit and get knocked down, but you have to be the true champion to come back. You're pointing out now that you accurately predicted that Holyfield would take the title back from Riddick Bowe, seen by most people as a huge upset. Why did you think he was going to be able to do it? It's like I stated, he's too strong-minded and too uh, determined. And he uh, really believes in himself. So that, that's, that pays a, uh, plays a key part in boxing, I believe. You're telling me you have more respect for Evander than for any other fighter you've gone into the ring against? Well, I respect everybody. As long as you don't disrespect me, then we don't have no problems. I don't want to disrespect you, Mike. You're known for your mean streak. You'll never find me on your enemies list, I hope. We're looking forward to seeing you on April 22. And thanks very much for joining us. Appreciate it. Michael Moore, the man who will be challenging Evander Holyfield for the World Heavyweight Championship in Las Vegas on April 22, a pay-per-view bout.